Uh, I think, well, the play wasn't originally for me, but once I got it, I just knew we had to get a shot. I mean, I was lucky enough for it to go off the backboard, so I take it anytime. No, nah, I ain't calling. I ain't calling. I should've. Um, I'd rather not say. Uh, that's pretty much a go-to play at the end of a game that we run. But, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to get open, and I just made a play. Uh, coach has been preaching all year, next possession. So, I mean, I made a shot, and they came down and made a bigger shot, and you just got to move on from it. And we continue to execute, and that's the reason we got the W. Ever hit a like that before? Yeah, I've, I've hit a lot of them in my life, but that's my first college one. And so, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't really matter. They both are three points, but uh, I'm still upset with myself with the turnovers I had. You know, they were pretty much unforced. I mean, me being a primary ball handler, I have to, you know, continue to do a better job and getting guys in the spots and taking care of the ball. That's how they run the offense. Um, that's how they get going. Is uh, you know, people fall asleep on defense and they back do you. Uh, they're, they're very disciplined, dis disciplined team, um, and we didn't, you know, we didn't let that affect us. What did you guys do though specifically to make sure that that didn't happen? Did you guys do anything different in this game against them than you did defensively in other games? Uh, just staying more to our principles. Um, being more disciplined on, on defense, knowing that, that that's what they do to get going. Uh, and everybody stayed with it. It was all, you know, together. Chris, so were you uh, on, on the big uh, bank shot? Or were you standing in the ball stall for your mind? Uh, well, the first shot, I was on the bench. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know he, you know he had it like that, but he made it. And it was, it was, it was a big momentum shift for us. Uh, yeah, I think I got a little frustrated in that game because I didn't agree with some of the calls. And but then again, after watching film, I got I knew I had to be a lot smarter. I made a lot of bad decisions, but I mean, I after looking at it, I knew it was a game we could definitely win. So I just have to move on from it and just go game by game. Each game means the same, so no game's bigger than the other. As you can see, they shoot the ball better than any team in the conference. And just, you have to make it tough for them. Just run them off the line and continue to switch and talk and just make them take tough shots. And I think down the stretch, we had a lot of key possessions where we made them take a tough shot and we got the rebound. And then it was times where we broke down and they hit us with a dagger. So it was like, we just have to continue to improve from it. And I think this was a big game. Another five minutes. <laughs> I mean, it was good no one got down on it because they could have easily took all the momentum into the second overtime and finished the game. But uh, we did a really good job of, you know, taking the momentum our way going into the second overtime. So. Same with it. Next play mentality. Um, team's going 
runs all the time. And we just got to stay with it, stay with our, our principles, and we'll be, we'll be good. That's what we did. Man, must be living right. Uh, JoJo shot. Um, I don't know who made their shot, the, the one to put it into double overtime. Forget the van, that his shot. I mean, that was just a fun game to coach. It was fun, fun game to watch, I'm sure. Uh, nerve wracking, but nothing like winning, man. At the end of the day, you just had to find a way to grind it out. Um, so I'll just open it up. I've got a bunch of thoughts, but I'm sure. Your, um, the intellectuals in the room will draw those out of me anyway. So <clears throat> let's start with Mark Anderson. Okay, remind me, there were so many endings. So you're talking about regulation? Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. Well, there was supposed to be, I want people to know, I actually do have a philosophy when it comes to that. We actually talked about it. We've practiced it. It wasn't executed. We were supposed to file in the backcourt. Um, and uh, when he went to dribble, we went to man-to-man, -man, full court, switching, uh, make them catch it, coming back to the ball. As soon as they go to bounce, go for a steal, get the foul. If you get the steal, great. But you're going to make sure that if you don't get the steal, you're getting the foul. And then they inbounded the ball, went the full length of the court, and shot it and, <laughs> and made a three. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's uh, back to the drawing board, you know, as far as getting these guys to execute and follow directions. Um, we, had some, we had some big shots we made, but that one uh, that they made could have been a little deflating, and I saw the guys kind of drop, you know, and, but they, you know, I had some choice words for them and just, just got into them a little bit, and they were like, all right, all right, and then they came back with some energy and did, did a pretty good job defensively down the stretch. We just still gave up way too many threes. Did a really good job in the first half defending the three-point line, and then uh, you got to credit Dave. Um, they made some pretty good adjustments and, and did some things to attack our zone in a way that we hadn't seen before. And it got some open looks for them, and then they got going a little bit. I think they made eight threes the rest of the way. So, uh, But I don't know what they made in the second half, but it was um, at the end of the day, I thought we did a good job defending the three-point line, uh, which was a major concern for us. They were six for 18 uh, in, in, the, in regulation, you know. So that's pretty good against that team. Yeah, most coaches, most coaches will. You know, I've researched it, looked up stats. Um, there's a whole philosophical breakdown on it that we did uh, some background on. And I, because you need to know which one you're going to do. There is some on the floor uh, gut feel stuff that you could, that you, you know, do they have three or four three point shooters that are, that have fouled out? Or, I mean, you know, you, you might change it in a certain scenario. But you knew you were going to be man-to-man, -man and you knew that, you know, in the, in, if they got to go to the length of the court, you know, then that's a, definitely a time you want to foul them if they catch it coming back to the ball, especially with, what was it, three-point whatever. So, yes, that is my philosophy, which was not executed. So, at least you guys know what I wanted to do. <laughs> were you surprised that they didn't foul Morgan at least? Um, not really. Uh, you know, he made, I think one of his is, was so deep. I mean, I don't even think they could have got to him. And, and, and the other reason is it wasn't like he was dribbling before. Well, no, he did dribble the one time, right? He, he dribbled off the side. They could have fouled him then. Um, I, you know, I don't know what Coach I, Dave, Dave rolls, you know, with that, with that philosophy. But I'm sure if he would have told his guys to do it, they would have done it. So maybe he doesn't. You know, not, not everybody has the same opinion on that. So. We tweaked, we tweaked the play that we already have in, um, and we subbed in Larry Bush, and he did a good job in his 2.8 seconds of play tonight. Um, said it, you know, he, he went down to, to be kind of a distraction there. I think it was him I put in. Yeah, it was Larry. But the bottom line was we had a, uh, 
uh, two options, and then they changed the time on the clock. I don't know if you remember, it was two something. And then, so that gave me another thought, and so I changed, called a timeout, and changed it again, and gave us the same play with a, with a secondary option. Because the first one, I thought it was going to be one of those, it's going to be tough to, to catch it, you know, dribble it, pass it, but with three point, you got plenty of time to do that. You even, you probably have time with two, but it's just, it's, it's, it would be close. So I just went for the initial three on the first, first time, called the timeout, came back, drew up the second option, and it was to get JoJo to catch it at the top, and then he was supposed to dribble it if he was jammed, but he was supposed to go to his right, and Ty was supposed to elevate out of the corner. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know if, how the defense was, but it made him go to the left, and then he, he you know, he, he made a big shot. Yeah, Ron, you, uh, the second one, just to give you a three-point lead, towards the end of the first overtime, um, I think you pulled out a short 30-second block, and Ian Palmer was just sort of letting play out. What were you thinking there? Did you have something to... We, we had something drawn up, yeah, and we were going to call a timeout. Uh, depending on... See, we didn't know whether they were going to press or not. So if they... If they were going to press, that we had a press so we were going to get it over to half and then drop a, 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 a play in the half. But we had the play in, and the, the, the press was so soft that we could still execute the full court play, which, gave, we've, which we had three options on. Um, and so they, and we had done it. They were good. They were comfortable. They went out, and, you know, we just – it ended up like it did. But, but yeah, no, I was comfortable with, with the, uh, the strategy at least. I didn't like what I saw tonight in a lot of areas. I'm not going to – I'm glad he made some shots, but he was – he could play so much better, man. He just – throwing that ball all over the place. And I just expect him – I expect more from him because he's shown me he can do more. He had five turnovers, I, you know. So everybody's going to say, oh, he scored 30 points. Yeah, well, he was horrible in other areas. Now, I love the kid to death, and I know he's a big shot maker. And he did that, and he has a little latitude in that area. But – you know, he was he was just trying to hit home runs all night. And I'm like, you know, you can get outscored with base hits. You can still beat a team with some base hits. This is my baseball analogy that I always talk to them about. And uh, but he kept he had a guy right in front of him and he's th and he's traversing the court with these diagonal passes through traffic. And he, three of his turnovers were, were were trying to throw this this silo through the through the crowd. And I'm like going. OK, we'll just visit this on film later. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But, um, but man, he, but, he, but he's a winner. You know, that's what he does. He makes shots when you need him to make shots. He made some tough shots. And it shouldn't be that difficult, though. He's got to find a way to make the game a little bit easier on himself. And he's a great kid. He's such a great um, guy to coach, you know, because even when he screws up, you know, you get right in him, and you can get after him a little bit, and he just takes it. You know, his J.C. coach was a – he's a legend, you know, in Southside Chicago, and he didn't take any mess, you know. And uh, so so JoJo's been trained to do that. But long answer to a short question. But bottom line is, you know, I love the kid, and I'm glad he made some shots, but he can be significantly better. Uh, honestly, Mark, it was frustrating. It was frustrating to, to, to put guys into positions to be successful and then them not completing them. But I also know that they're capable. You know, we've had some really good practices uh, as of late, and the guys, I think, are getting better. Um, I thought we played pretty spirited against San Diego State. We just lost to a better team. Um, you know, I think that there's some things that we can do going forward uh, to help these guys you know, put them in put them in areas of strength that are their strengths, and we've got to be a little bit more meticulous about that because, you know, it's just it's just uh, it's a confidence thing. I think guys see the ball going through the rim, like I said, in practice, and they put in the extra work. Then we'll continue to get better, and we we separate our skill development from our practices, and and guys are getting in work. So I'm optimistic they'll they'll have better offensive performances. Phenomenal defense. That's what it was. it was probably the best defensive effort against the Air Force in the history of the Air Force. Um, no. <laughs> they were just, 
you know, I thought our guy, I thought the zone bothered them a little bit, and we did, you know, remember we talked about their actions. They got a couple actions that they do. You're not going to guard all of their stuff. You're not going to train your team how to guard Air Force in two days. That's not happening. But you can get them, you know, familiar with a couple actions and drill those into your guys. And that was the one action that we said, we just no back doors, no layups. Now, they still got some, and then they got some layups, but – uh, but it was an emphasis for us. But at the end of the day, I think the zone was more of a deterrent to the back door than it was uh, them not executing. I think any win, um, depending on, yeah, I think anyone can have a, I mean, obviously can have a positive effect, but I think everybody knows how tough it is to play Air Force, right? I mean, we all know how gritty they are and, and, and the experience this team is. And so, so to gut one out against, you know, them, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it could, can, can lead to that. Um, but I'm not in the, the minds of these guys. So I, I hope that they understand that this was, a, this was a good win, you know. I don't care where you play them, home, away, wherever. You know, it's a, it's a good win if you can gut out a win against a team that's so disciplined and experienced. Right. He can. You know, tonight was a little bit less uh, check ness. You know, we we have a uh, saying that you know sometimes he's just check and sometimes he's check ness. He gets it done with a little finesse. But tonight he didn't. Uh, he didn't get going offensively. He only was one for six. And that, that you got to give credit Air Force uh, for how they defended him and some of the things that they did. To, Physically, with you know, when you got bigger guys, six ten, six eleven, that are getting, you know, smaller guys in their knees and legs, it's 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 tough to play against. And they did a good job with on him tonight. But seven rebounds, still only one turnover, twenty six minutes. Love my freshman man. He'll be good. He'll be good, and he'll keep getting better. And you guys will fall in love with him if you haven't already. You're gonna, you you will by the time his career is over here. You're, he's gonna be one of your favorite rebels. Trust me. Okay, I have a uh, Motown show I need to go to, so unless there's any other questions. Anything else? All right, thanks.